Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will continue our journey exploring the city of Seattle. Our first destination for today is the Balat Locks, or also called the Chenden Locks. It is a canal system that connects the salt water of the Puget Sound to the fresh water of Lake Union. The primary purpose of the locks is to allow boats to move between the different water levels while maintaining a controlled water flow to prevent salt water intrusion into the freshwater lakes. This is especially important for preserving the ecological balance of the lakes and protecting the surrounding environment. Hey, what? This is one of the popular tourist attractions because it offers us a chance to actually see how this wonderful work of engineering operates. If you've ever heard of the famous Panama Canal, which connects between Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, I believe that this canal right in front of us has the same purpose. Alright now, let's take a look at this canal system in action. The boats enter from one end of the canal, and the gates close behind the boat. The water level in the lock falls to even out with the water level on the other end. The gates on the other end are open and let the boat out. Ta-da! That was so mesmerizing to watch. For the first time in my life, I get to see something that I've only heard or read from textbook. You know, it's not just about watching the canal system and how it works, but taking a walk here is also really cool. You see that bridge right there? Sometimes that opens up to let big boats pass by. <laughs> Saying goodbye to the Ballard Locks, we are now heading to the Pipe Place Market which is another tourist attraction when you come to Seattle. This is also where you will find the very first Starbucks store ever opened in history. This is an iconic and historic public market with a variety of vendors selling fresh produce, seafood, meats, flowers, and a wide range of locally crafted products. It is around 7 p.m. now, so most of the shops are closed for the day. But it's okay, we can still walk around and immerse ourselves in the Seattle culture. As you can see, it is less crowded toward the end of the day. Alright, let's walk to the legendary Starbucks store, the very first Starbucks store in human history. Here we are right in front of the store. Even though the store is about to close, the line to get into the store is still pretty long. While my friends are waiting in line to get into the Starbucks store, I'm walking around to explore the area around this. As you can see, across the street is the waterfront, where you can see the sunset. Oh, there's a stair. Let's go up and see what is up there. Oh, there's a lovely street with a restaurant.
Oh no, it's locked. Can't go outside the balcony. Alright, we are finally getting in the Starbucks store. People usually go in here not just for drink, but there's also a lot of souvenir option for you to purchase. Since this is a very first Starbucks store. This is where it all began, my dream to build a company that fosters respect and dignity to create a place where we can all come together over a cup of coffee on Work With Love by Howard Gold. That is a post on the wall when you come inside a store. Alright, it's getting dark here in Seattle and we are hungry, so we are now heading to a restaurant. Oh, look at that! Is that a big band tower similar to the one in London? We are here at a Chinese restaurant. This is where we're gonna have our dinner. We order roasted duck, congee, and some sort of dim sum. And now it's the time to officially say goodbye to Seattle. We are flying back to home. And this is also the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching and remember to subscribe.